So here I am over in Asia and I'm talking with friends and we're looking at uh, a situation that recently came up with a young college girl and she had a boyfriend, had a boyfriend and she put, uh, shall we say nude and inappropriate pictures of herself on the internet and some other guy messaged her and uh, wanted to strike up a conversation. Now, listen, it's possible that that girl actually didn't know what that guy wanted. I'm not joking. This is the Taiwanese culture. Now, most of the Taiwanese would say that that's um, hui. Is that is that the term? Bullocks? Uh, Bravo Sierra. Um, but that there. But but then the Taiwanese would add there are actually people that are that stupid, and it usually comes from family. All right. Okay. But. That aside, this girl has a boyfriend. She's a, she's a college student. Her boyfriend's in college. They go to the same college. And she puts nude pictures of herself on the internet. Another guy messages her back and wants to connect. He, 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 she's interesting to talk to. She probably has a great personality. And, and he's interested in uh, striking up a conversation with her. Her boyfriend gets back because he was gone for a few days or something and sees this message in response to her putting her self uh, <clears throat> on the internet. And the boy gets back, the boyfriend sees this and he beats her. Like she's got bruises. Okay. Now in Taiwanese law, and, and, and see, I think that this is a good thing. See, you're going to say, Jesse, you chauvinist. You chauvinist. Here, now, she doesn't have any permanent injuries. Okay. It, it, it's just a little question. I, I'm not going to defend the guy. I'm not going to say that the guy was in the right. But I want you to think about this. What would happen, God forbid, that this girl went on and becomes a mother uh, probably since the apple does not fall far from der tree, uh, her, her children might do the same kinds of things. What would happen if this girl had actually gotten together with that guy who wanted to talk with her only after this inappropriate stuff? I mean, girls, <clears throat> girls, if you're wearing inappropriate clothes, the types of guys that are going to want to have a conversation with you because of that are not safe. In case your daddy never told you that. And, 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 and if you didn't know that, then maybe I need to tell you this. You're supposed to live with your mom and your dad so you learn about both sex species. By growing up with a mom and a dad, you're not going to be biased about boys or girls. You're going to have a well-rounded view of of both so that you're not prejudiced. If you don't have both in the house, you could become a sexist very easily. And you're supposed to have mom and dad in the house just about every day. Sometimes one might travel, but not usually. If you're a girl and you didn't know that wearing scanty clothing is not going to attract safe men, if you didn't know that, you might not have known the thing about the house either. So I'm just telling you, I think that we should have an objective view in the house. Interestingly enough, Darwin also seems to agree. I mean, in order to have a child in nature, you've got to have a boy and a girl. So the parents, uh, you know, here that you got you got a male and female adult, and the children grow up understanding both males and females. It, it's like it, it's almost as if genetics wants us to have a well-rounded view of the world. So, well, nature and genetics aside. Here we've got this girl that, that does this. And in Taiwanese law, assault is not that great of a charge. I don't even think the guy's in legal trouble. I think 
at most, he's obligated to say that he was sorry. Um, but, but in their Taiwanese culture, you can get this, he ran away all the way home to his city across the island. Way, way across. We're talking like five hours away for two days with his mom and dad. So everything's fine. So he's, he's, you know, he's going to come back a new person and everything's going to be okay. That's the Taiwanese culture. This is really like, you got to You got to get this. Okay. So he's, he's sorry. And, and he ran away for two days. So everything's going to be okay. That that's, that's our, that's our situation. Well, this girl doesn't get it. She's, she's going to just forget him. This girl needs counseling, dude. This girl needs counseling. You don't take, see, she's surprised by this. She can't believe that she's surprised that if she puts naked pictures of herself on the internet and starts to chat with other guys who are thus interested in her, that her boyfriend might not like that. Now, God forbid this girl grow up and she raise other children. They're going to go off and actually connect with that guy who's probably going to be much more dangerous than this guy. The reason that her boyfriend beat her is because, one, he's impatient and has a hot temper. Two, he loves her. you got a hot-tempered person who loves her. It's a yay boo. And probably he gave her more physical discipline than her neglectful parents ever did. So this is this is the situation. I, I I don't I don't see anyone here doing what's right. I think that the boyfriend did the least worst thing of everybody. How, you know how? Do you... <sighs> okay. See, someone's gonna get angry at me and tell me that I'm an abuser. But I, the real the real criminal here is her parents. Loving parents give their kids spankings, and what this girl did is she went off. And she found an abuser and then she provoked him to beat her. So I, why is she doing this? The girl needs counseling. The girl needs counseling. Okay, well that gets into another problem. In Taiwan, as I have already established, you've got this shame culture, which is an array of personality disorders. That's my little theory, my opinion, and I've got proof of concept. I'm not an expert, but if and when I get my degree in psychology, that will probably be my master's thesis. That shame culture is a collection of many different mental illnesses. So you've got, see, this, this is all too normal in the culture. The reason that the law, the reason that Taiwanese law won't prosecute this guy is because if they prosecuted someone for doing this, they'd have to prosecute most husbands in Taiwan. The parents don't, in Taiwan, they don't come in and, okay, you did this and that's wrong. And because I love you, I'm giving you a spanking. Boom. Okay, now you got your spanking and I love you and I'm not angry, but I have to give you pain so that you'll, you'll do what's right. Uh, okay, now go on about your life. Um, they don't do it that way. Uh, maybe people don't do it that way in America much. It's all this angry, rah, bam, 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 bam. You got only 97% on your English test when we're not teaching you proper English and it's illegal for you to learn English from foreigners? How dare you? Ba, 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 ba. Don't you know that the way to learn English is to memorize a bunch of words? How dare you not memorize the words? Ba, 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 bam, 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 bam. Um, that's, that's how that culture works. But then you've got parents who love their children and they wouldn't do that. So instead they just do nothing. Right. Okay. So we've got this going on everywhere, all over the place. So, you know, again, it comes down to the thing that if Taiwan were to actually prosecute people for beating them, they'd have to prosecute everybody, including the people who would write the law and be enforcing the laws. As my mother once told me, Jesse, stop talking about the problems on Sunday morning because the jury is guilty. You're not going to convince any of the people at the church to stop doing these bad things because they all do them. Okay. All right. But again, I don't think the bigger crime here is not punishing the guy who loved his girlfriend enough to beat her for putting herself in harm's way of a guy that could be a rapist. She's attracting a rapist. I mean, what, what, what's better? I want to ask 
Okay, we're all doing walk away here, right? So I want to ask the, the snowflakes, what's better? To sit there and be all nice. I'm going to be nice. I don't want to say anything bad. Though the girl, there she is. She's walking up to a boy that's going to rape her. Don't stop her. Let her keep going. Let's cheer her. She needs moral support. Oh, look, she's talking to the rapist who's going to hurt her. Yeah, good for you. Yay. Let's not make anybody feel bad. Let's not stop anybody anywhere from doing something that they might regret. Is that what we're supposed to do? All right. Okay, so so this trash girl gets a trash boyfriend. And it's just no one's right here. The boyfriend beating her is wrong. He sh I, I think he should have walked away. I think he should have walked away and uh, let someone else do it. I, I think that he, uh, he should have done LGBTQRKXYZYTBA, which stands for uh, also your kind, and XYZ, because you've got to think three-dimensional here. Don't be flat in your thinking. And then uh, yet to be announced. We cannot discriminate. LGBTQ is such a discriminatory it's so limited, absolutely limited. And since the goal is to use more characters, it doesn't use enough. You're supposed to bloat your tweets with your terms so you can't actually say anything because it doesn't matter what you say anyway. It's, it's all about form. I, I'm so disappointed with the LGBTQ label. It's, it's too short. It's too short. It's just, it's just discriminatory against all those other letters in the alphabet, especially. And again, space. X, Y, Z is about the axis is for space. In, ca in case you don't know that, if you're LGBT, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't want to presume anything. So, uh, yeah, may maybe he should have let her go. That, that's what I'm supposed to say. That's what I'm supposed to say. So I'm saying, I'm saying he should have not discouraged her from attracting rapists because that's mean what he did in beating her. All right. Um, This is Taiwan. The girl needs counseling. This girl needs therapy. She needs therapy. That's what she needs. But who's going to give it to her? This is a culture full of this kind of garbage. The counselor she goes to probably has another mental illness that was neglected. Everybody's crazy. So how, or if, if they're not if someone in Taiwan isn't mentally ill, they're beat down by the culture, like with the abused wife syndrome. You know, if, 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 that is, if you can imagine abused wife happening in a country where they don't uh, prosecute people for assault and battery. Um, so that, anyhow, so there you go. Uh, that's, that's, uh, that's the latest gossip from Taiwan. Interesting, huh? Interesting. You know, no one's right here. No person in this story did anything right.